Hello, I'm Habiba Ahud Dagash. I'm a doctoral researcher at Imperial College London. My research focuses on understanding how power sector decarbonization can contribute to delivering climate change uh, mitigation that's consistent with the Paris Agreement, with a particular focus on Nigeria. So my, re my research on Nigeria really seeks to understand the types of technologies that we need to, deli to deliver a sustainable energy transition within the Nigerian context. So the Nigerian power sector, or more broadly the Nigerian energy sector, is a grossly undersupplied um, sector for several reasons. One, a poor privatization was carried out and the sector has failed to attract the required investment to invest in generation. Additionally, we do have um, social and political issues that make it difficult to address um, that undersupply and attract the necessary investment. In terms of energy and climate change and how Nigeria can, can take advantage of the opportunity that a sustainable energy transition presents us, there are two key things that Nigeria can um, pursue. The first is a reform of the power sector that creates a cost-reflective tariff regime that allows investment to be attracted um, into the country and particularly into the energy sector. The second is recognizing that renewable energy is going to play a significant role in um, our future and upskilling the population to be able to address, to be able to utilize that opportunity. Uh, renewable energy and the sustainable energy transition more broadly creates an opportunity to tackle both an energy crisis and economic de development simultaneously. So government should work to train um, the population, it should collaborate with the researchers to understand climate change impacts at all levels within the country, local, regional and national, and then develop tailored solutions um, to climate change impacts um, uh, within the country as well. Um, Nigeria is one of the most vulnerable countries to, its, to climate change because of its high poverty levels and because of its poor adaptive capacity. It is imperative that's an issue that is mainstreamed into our development discourse and it's an issue that is at the forefront of both the population and the government's mind going into the future.